Welcome to the Pocono Mountains in Pennsylvania. I'm Josh. Today on Midwest Outdoors, I'm going to show you how you can catch fish even on the rainiest, gloomiest days. All right, I'm hooked up. Feels pretty good. Ugh. See what we got on here. Took a pretty big bait. Doesn't feel big now. It felt big earlier. Okay, now it's heavy again. I don't know what this fish is doing. Come here, buddy. There we go. This is why you take the time, use your deeper, find the spot where the rocks pile up, where the weed line ends, find some kind of good structure, and you'll be rewarded for it. Let's let this one go. Should have plenty of energy left still. Oh, yep. See you, girl. On a dark, gloomy day like today, there's a ton of different things you can do to help yourself out. One of them is switch to live bait. You know, it's a simple option, but it's effective almost 99% of the time. Another good one is to downsize your terminal tackle. Lighter line, smaller swivels, hooks, that sort of thing. But a key thing that a lot of people miss out on is using a device like this deeper and finding the spot on the spot where that rock pile is at its highest, where that weed line comes to that edge. This is a key part of my kit to finding fish in gloomy days. So the deeper is a portable sonar device. I just made my cast out into the water and I'm slowly retrieving it while looking at my phone here. I can see it's 13.3 feet, 62 degrees, and some light weed coverage on the bottom. In fact, we just marked a fish right there. That's a really good sign. We should make some casts here. Oh yeah, something on. Looks pretty heavy. Oh, might jump. Come on. Oh, it feels good. Oh, there he is on top. Oh, I think it, that's a nice small mouth. Nice small mouth. Oh, that, that rod over there is going too. Oh, come on. I don't know what to do now. I got him. All right, let's deal with that. We have quite the predicament here. I have a huge four and three, four and a half pound trophy small mouth, and I am one handing what I think is a big striper on the other rod. This is insane. Talk about finding the spot. I think this is a striped bass, but it could be a catfish. But I really am hoping this is a striper. <laughs> Look at this. Whoa! That is insane! We're talking three and a half, four pound smallmouth. We're talking 13, 14 pound striper. Woo! So, uh, obviously I gotta take some time here. I got two nice fish, but I actually have them, uh, there's some wind and waves coming in behind me, and I have them facing that way, and the water is just pushing over their gills. So, you can see how calm they are. They're happy, they're breathing. Good shape. Oh, see ya! Nice! That is so cool. That's one of my favorite, best doubles of my life. Oh. That's a strike if I've ever seen one. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, there he is, right on the surface. Nice striped bass. This is within five minutes of the last one. They are amazing fish. Oh, there we go. <laughs> There's another one. That's what I'm talking about. Huge, purebred freshwater striper. Finding the right spot is so important on these gloomy days but talk about paying off. Look at this thing in the water, just pearl colored. Oh yeah, see ya. We're killing it right now. I've had my deeper now for uh, actually over three years. It's a really uh, key piece of tackle for me. I take it with me everywhere. To be able to have sonar from the shore, it's incredible. You get the confidence that the boat guys do, on top of just knowing where you're fishing. Oh yeah, this is what Pocono Doors guy is all about hooking trophy fish. 
and this is my third, I guess fourth one in maybe 15 minutes. It's ridiculous. I don't think this one is actually as big as the others. It's still probably like 10 pounds. <laughs> this is my absolute favorite thing to do, striped bass off the shoreline. It's just too much fun. We'll just uh, pop out this circle hook, which has hit every single fish today without fail. All righty, buddy. I know you're ready to go. Peace out. What an absolutely awesome day, and the weather is actually breaking. I hope showing you how I can use the deeper to locate some spots to get on good fish was helpful. I'm Josh with Midwest Outdoors. See you next time.